We just made this unique antique wall clock for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? A great, that's what we do on this channel every week. Woo! Time flies when you're having fun. And it's been a whole year since last time we made a clock. <laughs> so if you guys like clocks and you like people working on clocks, you should check out this video from last year of us making a clock. It's a lot more labor intensive. This one's a lot more design intensive. Yes. Yeah. So the other one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool too. For this project, we're going to use another one of these uh, wood rounds from your local home improvement store. This one's 24 inches. It's pretty big. Not as big as that 36 inch wall clock. We picked up some clock hands. We're going to use some chalk paint, some Mod Podge. We're going to use some papers. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And then for the numbers, we're using our X carve. We're going to carve the numbers out, but you could always get the MDF numbers at Hobby Lobby or whatever your local craft store is. Step a one. Make all your cuts and make a hole. We're gonna find the center of our board and drill a hole for our clock pieces. And then we're gonna go downstairs and cut out our numbers on our MDF. Kim already found the center, so. I mean, I think I did. We're gonna find out. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, we're yeah, just going to hold it straight in the air and just do it. That's how I do. I have it marked on each side. Let's see if they open up. See you guys on the other side. They did. They lined up. I did it the same. Did you? Yeah. Hey, good job, good day. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, I'm going to take this downstairs and start cutting out our letters. Step two. Oh, step two. Oh. We're going to mod podge the paper out <laughs> on the board. Way to steal my thunder again. Ooh, glory hound. <laughs> yeah. Glory hound. <laughs> this is Garrett's bright idea. My idea was just going to be to distress it so we're going to put one layer of paint to another layer of paint and then sand it off but we have these cool papers so what I think we're going to do is we're going to glue them down to this board and then add a coat of Mod Podge right on top and then we'll add the chalk paint over that and sand it off. Now we're going to trim it up. Let's try. Well, I think before we uh, paint it, I think we should come in with some sandpaper. And kind of just stress the edges? Okay. We'll just uh, so that there's no paper sticking up that will get caught like that. Um. Alright, so what we got so far, we're going to add another another layer of Mod Podge, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did. We'll give this a minute to dry. Step three! We're gonna paint the board white now. Using our bare chalk paint in Pale Moon. Pale Moon. Here's your little sponge over there. Oh, got it. Like I would think you'd do where I was holding last. <laughs> like last. <laughs> Like, I'm trying I to be. First. I'm trying to be thorough. So, you have 80% of the board. 
<laughs> to be thorough on yet, I keep getting painted. I don't, I don't understand how. <laughs> They're missing spots. Right, but there's like 80% of the spot over there. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm getting there. Where are those fingers? Hold up. Metallic rust. Antique pewter. Step four. Time to lay down the stencil. We got this cute little stencil. Paint's all dry, we're gonna lay it down. After we mod podge the board and put the paper on, we noticed that it got puckery and wavy. But we left it alone and it shrank back down into place. Looks good. All right, next is add the transfer tape, which Garrett has prepared for us. <laughs> you gotta get it a little fuzzy so it doesn't stick too good. We're gonna use some of this chopped up paint that we got from Auntie Tay and Onyx. Onyx. Black. Ooh, sounds exotic. All right, we'll let that dry. Time to remove the stencil. Just gonna peel this sucker right off. Right, peeling it right off. There it goes. Easy. what we've got so far. Now it's time to distress it. I'm gonna scuff it all up, make it look old, make that paper peek through. Yes, that's the plan. We want the paper to peek through now. Choose your weapon, which one? All right, now that we got it dry sanded, we wet these sponge sandpaper things. Now we're gonna come in and buff it out to make it look rubbed, not sanded. And so he's using a 120 grit block. All right, that's what we've got <laughs> so far. Looking pretty aged, looking pretty old, repurposed. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the colors really coming through, but you can see the greens and the reds. You can see ah, hold this way. guy's face over there. <laughs> Next step, let's add some numbers to this clock. All right, we got our numbers all dry. I painted the MDF to try to make it look like make-believe metal. Rusted metal, yeah. So, I think it kind of works, we'll see. Goes like that. Yes, go Ooh, like that's that. looking tight. You ready to glue it? Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna let this dry. And then we're gonna add the clock pieces. Looking good so far, baby. It does. Step five or six, I forget. We're just gonna add the clock pieces, pop it through, screw it on. You need this, the washer goes on and first. The washer on first. Oh. <laughs> long enough. What? It's not long enough. It's too short. It's too short. All right, our little clock shaft is too short. It's shorty short. <laughs> I thought we got the longest one we had and we pushed it through <laughs> at Michael's and it looked like it would fit, but we were wrong. We were wrong. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try to carve out the little square a little bit. I think we need about a quarter inch. Got my rotary tool. 
Let's get busy. It's never done it, so I'm going in. All right, that's what I got. Let's carve it out a little bit. Sits in there okay. Not perfect, but uh, it works. Oh, other pieces, I hit them. Hands me. Oh, that's what we got. Looks great, babe. It does look great. Put a battery in this thing. Oh. oh, you're making a mess with all your shavings. It's my shavings. <laughs> Give us a like, leave us a comment, tell us what you liked, tell us if you didn't like the paper, tell us what different paper we should have used. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Remember to check out one of these ones, one of these things over here, one of these little jams, until we see you guys next week. <laughs>